Today at Devil Deeds, we've got our hands on this really unique Ford Fiesta ST known as Sonic the ST. The theme of this car is an awesome Sonic the Hedgehog look with the blue paint, red body kit and white door mirrors representing Sonic and of course there's gold alloys representing the gold rings that Sonic collects in the game. So a very special set of wheels that definitely stands out from the crowd. Now even though this special little car is generally well looked after, it's definitely in need of some detailing attention to take it beyond your standard five pound wash and clean. The plan today then is to make Sonic the ST's exterior look its best on this overcast Sunday afternoon. First thing we need to focus on are those gold alloy wheels. Removing the dirt, the fallout and brake dust, they're going to look as shiny as the gold rings Sonic loves to collect in the game. To kick off, a fine mist of Powermax TFR 5000 is sprayed over the wheels, the tyres and inside the wheel archers. We leave that to dwell for 5 minutes before being simply rinsed off. Powermax TFR 5000 is a powerful traffic film remover that attacks oil, grease and general road traffic contaminants. This product can be adjusted in strength to suit the level of dirt, but in our experience, a 10 to 1 ratio works perfectly in most situations. Once the wheels have been rinsed, we're going to bring out the fallout remover. And today we're using Built Hamber's Auto Wheel, which is perfect for painted or treated alloys because it's a pH balanced universal wheel cleaner. Auto Wheel reacts with the oxidizing surface of metallic particles. And you can actually see this reaction, which is that distinct color change of the product from clear to that deep, deep red. It's very dramatic to watch, but it's totally safe. And in over 90% of the cases, you don't even need to touch the wheel. Just apply, leave, and because it's water soluble, just simply hose it off. Now that the wheels are decontaminated, we can move on to the shampoo phase. We're using Carchem's Super Suds diluted to a 1900 to 1 ratio. Now this has become our general go-to shampoo, not just because it represents unmatchable value for money, but also because it's premium quality. It's extremely foaming, but more importantly, it's highly lubricating to prevent scratching or swirling your vehicle's paintwork. And it's also safe to use on waxes, sealants and ceramic coatings.
Now that the wheels, which tend to be the dirtiest part of the car, have been decontaminated and cleaned, we can turn our attention to the body of this cool Sonic the ST. Similar process to the wheels, we're using the Powermax TFR5000 to degrease the panels and paintwork in order to make sure that we can remove as much contamination from the vehicle before a contact wash. Dwell time for Powermax TFR5000 is normally around 5 to 10 minutes depending on weather conditions and once the dwell time is complete you simply rinse it off and then we can move on to the pre-wash solution which can only mean one thing, yes you guessed it, it's snow foam time. This is another built hamber product simply called Auto Foam. We're applying this at 4% PIR or panel impact ratio and we're going to leave it to dwell on the panels for around 5 minutes. Snow foam is the most visually satisfying part of detailing a vehicle in my opinion. Even though it's visually satisfying, it's important to note that Snow Foam isn't actually designed as a superficial, you know, high firm product, but it is a functional material, meaning that it doesn't just look cool for Instagram, but it also does exactly what it says on the tin, which is that it attacks and it penetrates the hardest of dirt and grime without the need for manual intervention. Now, although manual intervention isn't necessary, working the snow foam into the most intricate areas using super soft detailing brushes is a must to make sure that every nook and cranny of a vehicle is getting the required attention. Detailing brushes can penetrate those areas where mitts physically can't. Like this honeycomb grill for example. You just wouldn't be able to clean this with a mitt. Built Hamber Corosol, much like Built Hamber Auto Wheel, which are the same product by the way, just Auto Wheel is slightly denser, it's a pH balanced, non alkaline, non acidic fallout remover, which is highly effective and safe on paintwork. It's used here to remove metallic particles that have embedded themselves into the paintwork. Simply spray on, wait for the colour to change, 
and then rinse off after about five minutes. Back now to the Car Camp Super Sud Shampoo as we turn our attention to the bodywork with the main contact wash. We're using built amber mitts. These are double sided mitts. They're super absorbent so we get lots of water and shampoo lubrication on the paintwork to minimize any potential swirling or scratching. You only really need very light pressure in the contact wash. So simply let that mitt gently slide as it naturally follows the contours of the car. This just protects against any potential swirling or scratching during the contact wash by any grit or debris that might have got picked up on the mitt. And this is why you carry out such a thorough pre-wash so that you minimize any surface contaminants, grit, grease or dirt before making contact. Meaning when you finally do make contact, you're in a pretty safe place. I say minimize because you can't totally eradicate all contaminants. One thing we always bear in mind when detailing a customer's car is to check the integrity of any decals or stickers. The last thing you want is to strip any decals or stickers with the pressure washer. So it's best to be extra careful. Now thankfully all the decals and stickers on this vehicle were rock solid and certainly not going anywhere. Once rinsed off, we can then start to dry Sonic the ST. Here we're using the edgeless Korean twist drying towels. These are 1300 GSM. They're so absorbent, you can't even wring them out afterwards. So you just have to hang them up and leave them to dry naturally. As with the contact wash phase, we try to use limited pressure when drying the vehicle's paintwork. You can actually see how absorbent these towels are. They literally leave no water on the vehicle surface with a single pass. After drying Sonic the ST, we're going to be treating it to a wax and the weather today is absolutely perfect for it. We're using double speed wax from Built Amber, which is a Carnova wax that's very easy to apply and it provides a really deep, glossy and hard and hydrophobic finish. Apply using a dampened applicator sponge in light overlapping circular motions. 
allow it to dull, it takes around five to 10 minutes depending on conditions, and then buff off with a microfiber towel. That simple. You don't have to go crazy with this stuff either. Only use a small amount. It's definitely gonna make Sonic's Spirit Blue paint pop. The tailpipes were looking a bit dull, sad and neglected. Certainly not what you'd associate with Sonic the Hedgehog. So a lot of elbow grease and metal polish was needed to bring them back to life. But nothing more complicated than that. And finally, you can't have gleaming gold alloys like this, surrounded by dull, lifeless rubber. So bring on the high performance tire gel from Autoglim to give those tires a new lease of life. that is all from us for this episode. We really had loads of fun making this video with all the nods to Sonic the Hedgehog. It really brought back loads of memories sitting up late on that Sega Mega Drive all those years ago. And what a cool set of wheels, which now look amazing. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get notifications.